Hey, hey guys, what's up? So I've got lots and lots of questions because a lot of people get some errors when installing AstroJS themes on their GitHub page. And today I would like to guide you through this process and show you how easy it is to use an AstroJS theme with your GitHub Pages page. So I have this GitHub Pages site already online. And if you would like to check out how to install and set up GitHub, I have a special video for that on my YouTube channel. Other than that, as you can see, this is the repository. And if I open it up, then you will see there's nothing in there except the index.html file where it says hello and that's what you see right here. So now let me first show you where you will find the AstroJS themes. So if you go to the Astro website, which is called astro.build and you scroll down right to the bottom, then you will find right here the word themes. If you click it, you will find all of the themes of Astro or for AstroJS. On the left side, you can choose the categories, you can choose the pricing, but I will go with the Astro Wind theme because this is my favorite one. So let me show you how this looks like. This is beautiful. And look at this. You can use this completely for free with your GitHub Pages website. You will get a domain and even rank this page. You can use that for different projects. So this is really awesome. So if we go back now, as you can see right there, it says get started. So this is what you can do. And this is what you do for every theme. So no matter which one you pick, if you pick this one or this one, you click on the theme and then you click get started. And then what you will find is lots and lots of files. So this is basically the repository of the theme. So what I usually do is I go to code, the green button right here, and then I just click download the zip file. All right, let me close this for now. And then as you can see, this is the zip file that I have downloaded of my AstroWind theme. And if I open this up again, there are lots and lots of files. So what I will do now is I will open up my repository, get rid of the index HTML file because we don't need it. And then I will take all of the files of the AstroJS team and simply put them into my repository. All right, next, let's close this. We can also minimize this, close this. And then let's open up the terminal. So now let me run a local host on this website. So what we are going to do is to change directory like so. And then I'm going to say npm run dev. And as you can see, we get an error. So what do I wanted to do here? Well, I downloaded all the theme files of the AstroJS theme. And now I wanted to run that theme locally. However, as you can see, we get an error. But this fix actually is very easy. It's because you need to install all the dependencies of the theme. So the theme works with dependencies. Without these dependencies, your theme will not work with your GitHub page. So what we do now is to say npm install like this, press enter. As you can see now, the dependencies are going to be installed. And after this is done, the theme should be visible and working locally, right? So the installation is done. So again, let's say npm run dev just like so. And as you can see, we get a local host. So if I take this local host address and then let's open up a new tab and place it right here. This is my theme now, so I can change the content. You know, I can like can add in my images and then I can work with this. However, if I push all of these files now to my GitHub repository, right? And then commit to main, you know, and push this, this will not work. And this is something we can easily verify if we go to the GitHub pages panel dashboard and then we click actions. And as you can see, this page build failed, but it does work on localhost. So that means that we need to adjust a few things to make it work on GitHub as well. And since the AstroDocs are really amazing, you can go to the AstroDocs page and they have a special page for deploying your Astro site to GitHub. And basically there are two things that you need to do and then it should work. So first of all, you need to go to the Astro config MJS file. Every Astro page should have that file. So let me open up my theme. And as you can see right there, it is. And basically what it says is that you should add your GitHub domain to your AstroJS theme, which makes sense, right? So they also show you how that should look like. And all we need to do right now is to find the export default define config settings. And as you can see, they are right here. So which means that this site thing should be somewhere here. So let's place it like so. And then instead of astronaut.github, we are going to place the name of our website, which is Adam's website. And then I can save. All right, that was the first thing that we need to do. And the second one is actually easier. So we need to configure a GitHub action file. So all you need to do is to create a file and you can copy this file name right here. 
And what it does is it tells your SOGS theme that it should deploy the page, the SOGS theme to a GitHub page, All right? So let's do this quickly, new file, and then we can simply paste this and save it. And then all we need to do is to copy the content like so, save it, and that's it. And if I now push all of the changes right here, to my repository, let's see what happens. So if we go back now to the GitHub Actions dashboard, as you can see, this time it worked. And if I go back to the domain of my repository, as you can see, there is our theme. So it's live, I can use it now for my projects, no matter what I want to build, if I want to use this as a blog or as a service, as a web designer, I have a free domain now, I have a free theme from SOJS. I can change the content very easily and everything just works super smooth. So this is how you do it. I hope this video will be a small help for you. If you could, please like this video and subscribe as always. And thank you for watching.